Hello there! Another video with more Inktober drawings. Hope you enjoy! So for day 9 of Inktober I decided to draw Jane Doe from the musical Ride the Cyclone. Uh, a musical I recently watched. <laughs> I actually watched it on the first day uh, of Inktober. It was like my background noise when working. Because I really like having background noise. I don't know why, but I work a lot better if it's like, if I'm actually listening to something. Like if it's a podcast, video, essay. That works a lot better for me than if I had to listen to like a song while working. I don't know why. But, uh, so anyway, I watched Ride the Cyclone. <laughs> very recently and Jane Doe is one of the characters from that show um so the show is about six teenagers who dies horrifically in a roller coaster accident and then they're like in the afterlife and they're singing each their own number of why they have to be the one brought back to life <laughs> so as you maybe can guess from the name uh, Jane Doe is uh, the only unidentified body from the accident. No one knows who she is or know um, what her story is. <laughs> if you're gonna ask me, she has the best song of the entire musical. I love it a lot. Um, I wish I kind of had the drawing uh, <laughs> reflect more what happens in the number. Um, because like if you actually watch like the like the show, you can see that she like spins around in the air while singing this like amazing operatic <laughs> like song. It's it's great. I wish I I had I had incorporated that more. At, I at least gave her her doll, her headless doll. I I guess I can mention the reason she was not identified is because like that some people speculate she recently joined the the group because like they were all part of a choir whatever and uh, so she doesn't have a head technically but she has like this doll head to replace it <laughs> so that's why so I really wanted her face to look very doll like because that's what it's supposed to look like my dad just decided to watch football, so I'm very sorry if you can hear it in the background. This is this is like the only time I get to record this. I'm so sorry. Anyway, I really like this one, and <laughs> I use a f I use like a brush liner I actually bought for Inktober, but I haven't got around to use it yet. I'm gonna use it more in the future because I really like it. So we got around to day 10 and I am not going to lie here. I didn't really like this one. I don't know. I The idea I had in my head was so much cooler than what it ended up being like. I try not to be too negative when I talk about my art because um, that's a major tip for you beginners and artists in general. Stop talking shit about your art. <laughs> um, it will like I don't know something psychological happens when you start when you stop talking shit about it. Um, but I had to just went. Um, I the idea I had for this was a lot cooler than it ended up being. I actually accidentally sketched the sketch on a paper where I've actually done another drawing, so that also didn't help. And I also did this very late in the evening because I was rather busy that day. I had just gotten to the. I want to say coiffeur, but that's not the right word. Hairdresser, the hairdresser. Um, so I got a haircut. I really like it. <laughs> um, so yeah. And I also was busy because finally Dairy Girls was brought to Netflix here in Norway. So I had to watch it. <laughs> uh, awesome show if you haven't watched it. It's so funny. Um... I didn't think season 3 was as funny as season 1 and 2, but I still rather liked season 3. I should maybe talk more about the drawing. I didn't have any ideas behind this. I was just like, October, spooky season, skeletons, spooky, but just drawing a skeleton is boring. So why not give it angel wings, you know, to be 
deep. I don't. I don't know why. Some some drawings are just uh, brain doing its own thing, and I just uh, I just follow through with it because like yeah, you know, as I mentioned, um, I like the idea of this a lot more than what it ended up being. Ugh, I hate being negative, but this is just how I feel, and I feel like if I pretend to actually like it, I will explode. But I like the rest of the days a lot more, so we'll get to that. <laughs> So, as for the recording, when I'm doing this, um, Owl House, a show I enjoy a lot, is coming back. Ooh, season 3, baby. So I decided to draw the one character I am rather confident doesn't gonna show up in this next episode. I don't know, I really felt like drawing this character. Um, this character is known as a collector, and... I don't want to accidentally spoil the show for people who have not watched it, so I will say the collector is basically a ancient god-like figure. We actually don't know a lot about him in the show um, at the moment, so hopefully we'll learn more about him the next season. I'm looking forward to that. So I don't know. I haven't got around to draw him a lot, even though I really like his character design and. <laughs> I wanted to do just something that was a bit more... Is There's a lot about interesting composition, composition out there, but I wanted to do something where he wasn't just standing there in the white void. So he's, so he's lying, floating in the air, in the white void, with a nice circle around him. I decided to do like the circle with the moon faces because I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure I know in the show they have like he has a very like mo star and moon and sun motif. You can see it in this design. And he also um there's like point in the show where a character summons him and there is like this circle with all the moon faces around, so that's very fun. <laughs> I really like this one. Even though it didn't seem to do as well as I wanted it to do on social media. But you know what? Sometimes sometimes things don't go your way. And that's fine. I don't I guess so I know when certain people act like it's so hard for them when they don't do well on social media as an artist. Like I know algorithms and such just suck. But you you don't help yourself by guilt tripping your audience <laughs> and your followers. Like, I don't know, it feels, I would, it just feels bad, like, like, why are you bringing me into this? I don't get it. Like, be appreciative of the fans you have, and, like, if you get that upset that your art pieces aren't doing well on social media and such, you should, you should take a break, I would say. Take a break from social media and just draw for yourself for a while. I would say that's my major tip if you start feeling discouraged about art be surrounding because of social media. So, um, for this one, I decided to draw like mock comic sort of thing because I really want to get into making comics and write comics and I have like a story idea in mind that I really want to do one day. But it's also very, very long. So I feel like it, I don't want to start with that because I feel like it would just overwhelm me in the end and I will probably hate looking at like the first chapters for years because I did them while I wasn't that good at making comics and like, I know you should just get into it. But I feel like, um, I feel like before you start something that's this big, you should at least learn how to write a shorter contained story that isn't as long. I wanted to do something that's like longer than previous comics I have made, which has been like, I think the longest comic I have made was 18 pages, which was a lot of work, but it, was, it wasn't my story. It was actually a school project I did um, my last year of high school. We had to do like out an, an art project based on things we had learned throughout, so I made a comic. <laughs> And I made a comic based on the life of Vincent 
Van Gogh, I think I pronounced it right, Dutch people, uh, annihilate me in the comments if I did, <laughs> um, so did or did not pronounce it correctly, um, so I wanted to get, so for this story I imagine it would be at least 100 pages, which is still a lot, but you know, it's not thousands and thousands of pages of immaculate lore and such. I don't, I don't think I've, I haven't said what this story is about. Well, it's still in like developing stages. I think about started working on it on January next year. So look forward to that. Um, so basically uh, the girl on the left, <laughs> it will be left. Um, whatever. Um, she is, she like, uh, she has the power to see when people are going to die. And she kind of hates that ability so much because it's so hard to, I don't know, you kind of grow apathetic when you kind of realize everything is coming to an end one day. But everything changes when this guy, the guy on the right, <laughs> comes to school, like he's a new student at school and... She realizes she can't see when he is going to die. Um, that's all I'm gonna say <laughs> for now. Um, it's not the most original thing out there, but I need to start somewhere. So this is like, I guess, concept art. -y. <laughs> I really like the expression I made for them. Um, I like doing exaggerated expressions. I want to get better at doing it, but uh, I really like it. <laughs> I actually tried to do it on a different paper first before I was like, no, this is not working. Because I feel like I didn't capture the emotions I wanted as well on the other one. So I started over again. Because sometimes there is no shame starting over again. I feel like there's like a skill in its own to realize when a piece isn't working and you realizing and you just starting over again. Because I feel like it really sucks when you actually finish a piece and then you look at it and it's like, this, this just sucks. <laughs> like, of course, I feel like some, some people are like, oh, I always think that when I finish a piece, but you, you, I feel like most people know the difference between like, oh, okay, this is a piece I made, I guess. And, uh, oh my God, I hate this more than anything on earth. But I actually really like this one. I really like her shirt. <laughs> um, and I'm not completely convinced on the design for the guy yet. I have to still work around that. But as mentioned, this is still in this very concepty corners as far. So look forward to next year when I will try to publish this. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, um, Owl Hounds, a show I am a huge fan of, is going to return on Saturday, as of for the recording of this video. So I wanted to draw characters I actually think will show up on Saturday. If they don't show up, I will be disappointed, question mark. Like, if the episode is great and they don't show up, I'm not going to care, but you know. I'll be, I'll be, it, it would, it would tinge a little. <laughs> Me and my friend made like a bingo card for things we think are gonna happen in season three, and these two in a flashback is on the card, so you better show up because I want bingo. <laughs> um, so these two characters are kind of a walking spoiler warning i can't really talk about them if you haven't watched the show and i don't want to accidentally ruin the show for people who have not watched it um but anyway these two are brothers as far as we know uh grew up together in uh, new england um and that's all i'm gonna say I can't even say their names. This sucks for me because I can't come up with anything to say. Um, I used to find, I used to brush marker again. Because as I was mentioned earlier, I 
bought that for October and I have barely used it. Because my crown are just convenient. I'm also using this other brush pen that I actually got from school because uh, my teacher was like a huge fan of uh, the South Korean artist uh, Kim Jong Ji. I hope I pronounced that name correctly. So he wanted us to um, not copy his style, but sort of like do our own version, sort of try to draw like him. Uh, he died very recently, so uh, rest in peace. I was very sad when I heard the news. He was rather young too, so life sucks, that's <laughs> what I'm gonna say. Um, anyway, um, these two characters better show up on Saturday, Dana. This video's gonna either come up on Saturday or Sunday, so I hopefully will know then if they ever showed up or not. <laughs> So for day 14 of Inktober, I decided to draw an OC of mine. Um, for personal bias reasons, she is <laughs> one of, she has one of my favorite designs of any character I have ever made. I don't know, I think I got the idea for her very quickly. I think I just kind of mindlessly doodled and then I was like, what if fish head? And then, then spiral out of control. <laughs> um, I would say she's one of the characters I have made that have probably changed the least from my first idea of her to what I think of her now. So, that's fun. <laughs> um... I want to talk about her more, but like, I also want to write stories about her in the future, so like, I don't want to spoil her entire character arc in this video, and then when I actually start to publish the story, if I ever get around to do it, uh, and people are just like, oh, look, um, she already talked about this character and basically told us her entire deal, so... Uh... Not gonna do that. But uh, what you need to know about her is that she is kind of a herm hermit. Uh, her name is Ron. I named her Ron because of the fishnet. If you don't know, there is this uh, goddess in Norse mythology also named Ron, and she has this fishnet. Uh, so I actually got the fishnet idea before I named her. So it was like a period, it's like, I don't know what to name this character. And then I was like, wait, just name her after the main source of inspiration. No one's gonna fault you for that. And I was like, yes, sure. Um, my, I think my major problem, I really like the name. I think it fits very well. It's just that in Norwegian, it all means robbery. But that's just the name of the <laughs> goddess so and um, i know there's this it is like a proper name in uh, japan <laughs> so that's fun it means orchid in japanese i think at least the naming the baby name website told me that so if i'm wrong blame them <laughs> emmy for not doing a proper deep dive in the name it on <laughs> I just, uh, I feel like also every time I show like my sketchbook to people, 99% of my pages in my sketchbooks nowadays are just OCs. I feel like she's always the character that captures people's attention the most. I feel like she's the character that I have had most people tell me is the character they think has the coolest design 
and or the character they want to know more about. <laughs> so I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I just I just really like this character. What can I say? She's just neat. Well, that was the end of this video. I hope you enjoy. Um, like and subscribe this video if you did. Um, looking forward to do the rest of the Inktober drawings. We'll see if I finally manage to finish it this year. Have a good day. Goodbye.